it goes. Thanks, Lisa. I just wanted to do a quick little pour with a little. This is just a little hang thing I got from Hobby Lobby when it was on sale. Um, so I'm going to transform that. I took the little knobs off. And I'm just going to do like a resin dirty pour. It's going to be quick, simple, no fuss, no muss. I am using resin art colors. I have mermaid luster pigment. I have this one's blue moon resin art luster. This is gorgeous. I mean the sapphire-ish of sapphire-ish blues ever in the land. And then Celestial Sky, which is the resin art Diamond Galaxy. It's got that extreme shimmer to it. Looks like glitter, but it's not. It's just larger mica flakes. Um, and then I'm probably going to be using some liquid silver just in it a little bit. So, uh, Let's get going. Like I said, I'm just going to do a dirty pour. I haven't done a resin dirty pour in a long time. So we're going to do it. That was the mermaid. This is blue moon. This is Celestial Skies. I'm not going to add the um, liquid silver in the dirty pour. I'll just like streak it through later. Do another mermaid. I think I made too much resin, but that's okay. I have molds. I have molds. This blue, blue moon, amazing. In the celestial skies. So this should turn out pretty cool because this is three of the most beautiful blues ever. So I am going to take a stick and I'm just going to give it just a little mix. Just to, that's it. So they'll stay separated, but still, still mix. And then I'm gonna pinch it. Now, if you're doing something like this, you want to make sure that the holes where the, um, where your things go, are not blocked because you don't want to fill them up with resin so you want to make sure that those holes are in it I did not prime this wood um, I don't know if it needs to be we'll find out if it starts bubbling then we'll just like leave it be because I'm gonna I'll have to sand I have to sand it anyway and put a clear coat over it so otherwise I would have primed it um, we'll just start out at one end and do some swirly swirls. It probably looks like all the same color to you, but up close you're going to see it's not.
So I'm going to heat this up a bit so that it'll flow. My heat gun. Hang on one second. I completely forgot to put my mask on. Give me one second, guys. I know, please don't comment down below. Oh, you should have been prepared. I was prepared. I just forgot one thing. All right. Okay. So I want it to flow a little bit more. So I'm going to, and I have butcher paper down. So whatever falls off of this can be used for skin. So don't think I'm gonna be wasting any of this beautiful awesomeness. I do not waste resin and I do not waste color art pigment. So mermaid through gorgeous gorgeous colors and I do want them to go over the edge I taped up the back so And now the sparkly celestial sky. We're going to kind of swirl that just so that it'll have some lines. Like I said, it's just going to get blown out. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, so I'm just gonna use my hand just to make sure it's going over the edge so that when I blow it out, the resin will go over very easily. These gloves are too big for my hand. I got them at Dollar General. It was the only size they had. So, can't be choosy when there's no gloves available. All right. Ugh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna blow it out a little bit. Pop the bubbles. Warm it up. I'm not gonna blow it out that much. because I like the distinct colors. I like the All right, 
so this is gonna keep pulling so I gotta get you want to make sure that you get your edges if you don't want the resin to keep pulling it's a little thin right now it's warm in my room so all right oh that's pretty so I'm just gonna streak some of this liquid silver it's like spray paint in a can and I can't open it because my gloves are wet beautiful come on just using a little pipette just in case it drips see I just didn't want it to so we're gonna just Just a bit. I wanted it to streak, but it did not do that. It wanted to drip instead. So that's okay. We'll work with it. Take our little... You know what? I got some mineral spirits here. Think. Jeez. I'm gonna see this. See if we can just streak some of this. Just make some designs going everywhere. This silver, it comes like in a pack of copper, gold, liquid gold. It's from Montana. It is in my Amazon store. If you're interested, you can use one of my links. But it just sits on top so beautifully. Ugh. Gorgeous. All right, I'm going to try this little mineral spirits. Um, Sue Finley does it, and it makes really nice patterns. But she just, like, dips her stick. In it, and it does crazy stuff. Uh, just a little bit of dippage. Ooh, look at that. It's making some pretty cool effects. Okay. All right, now mineral spirit is flammable. So is spray paint. Therefore, you do not want to use your torch at this point. But I am going to use my heat gun. Not too much cuz I don't want it too long move that much and the more I heat it up the more it's going to drip down so please don't fall please don't fall
Oh, it's a little thin right here. Okay, guys, I think that's all I'm going to do to it. I will babysit the sides, but uh, let me come get you and I will take you in on a close up. Hang on one second. Okay, here it is. Let me turn this off. Hang on. Look at those colors. Like I said, they looked like they all mixed, but you can clearly see the difference and how that. Oh, hang on. Oh. How that, um, silver just sits on top and then you see how it's broken up and it looks like pieces that is the mineral spirit I've seen Sue Finley do it and it, she gets great results and so cool actually I think she uses mineral turpentine I don't know if there's a difference between Mineral turpentine or mineral spirits. Now I'm going to take a um, skewer and I'm going to poke those holes so that I know that they're not. See the edges, look guys. Oh, I love this. And then it's going to have those diamond things back on them. Can't wait for this to dry so I can put it back together and show y'all. Alright guys, that's it for right now. And I will see you tomorrow when it dries. Talk to you later. Bye guys. Okay guys, I got it all put back together now. And it is so pretty. These blues are amazing. Look at them. So if you're interested in any of these colors from Color Art, I have a coupon code below. Um, it is Lisa Wyatt Art 120. It's also in the description. So yeah, it would hang up on a wall like this for a hanger so hang up so from just this to this how pretty so gorgeous I love this All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Thank you.